Wow! Tick, madam. He said, Naila, I'm at the cat and he says, um, the pub in Green Street. And I want you to move me out of Corain Street. That's this here, this house. Right, says my father, working his P's and Q's. He gets a big float, moves Dick out of here, and moving him down to Green Street. Actually, me, him, my grandfather, and another man got our bits of furniture that we had in North King Street and moved us in here. Well, through the, uh, the influence he had in the corporation with the men they fought alongside him and all that business, he went over and he told him, ah, that's all right. And I always remember the, the rent. Two and nights a week. The rent man used to call around to the house and the electric light man had called to the house one and nightpence a week for the electric light. And we moved in here when I was three and I'm here ever since. Over the corner of Ann Street, the, um, Earl Griffith owned the shop at the time, and the, the pub, and there was a snug, and all down the ones I was thinking in the snug, and they were singing. I always remember the song, Don't Sweetheart Me If You Don't Mean It, and that was the name of the song. Um, and I was pushing the old pussycat, and I tried to get the pussycat over. Now, the hoarding was a little bit above, uh, was well, about seven foot high, the hoarding, and I couldn't get the pussycat over. So along come Dancer, and Dancer seen what I was up to me with the pussycat, and he got the old cat, he turned it over, and it landed in the middle of the table with all those brown ones, and the bottles of stout went flying, and the halves of whiskey went flying all over the place. Well, that's all I could do was make a run for it. But I was very cute. I made a run, and I ran down, and into my father's lane. And there was put a poor young fellas there, and they got a f couple of clatters for no reason. They didn't know I was wrong. And um, I walked back out of the lane. And they see me coming out of the lane, so they thought I was out to be up in the piggery, up in the, with the horses. Mm. And I was the guilty bugger. Well, I was in the house here, and my mother keeps saying to me, what are you laughing at? For days, a big smile come on my face. We had a big old table here at that time. We none of this fucking equipment here, and um, and uh, what are you laughing at? She said. I said, that dancer, what's what's wrong with you? I said, you fought the cat over. Oh Jesus, don't use his name. She said, and he'd be killed. But there was um tuppenny bangers. You got a banger for tuppens, not these big loud things you have today. And I got a condensed can, like what you see in the dog, you know, uh, for the feeding the dog. Dance can, and I got two tuppenny bangers and I put them in it. And was in the same pub, there was a little corridor, a small little lobby, and a small little hall, a door, you open the door to go into the pub, and there was a glass panel in it, a small glass panel in it. So I got a, a card, a part of an aisle on it, I made it long, and put the two into a the tinny can, and I lit it, and I made a run for it, and into into the tenement, into the cat home McKenna. Bang! The pain at last cracked, and all out losers having that point. Yeah, yes, I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Jesus, pointed out, I know them. Didn't know what was wrong. All the elfless. Well, they made a run out into the street. After had a million run in the street, they were dead. Those elfless ran out with beds. I was sitting in there at the old range one night. My father was in there. I said, do you remember the time I said you were all drinking the point? I said, and uh, the bang went off. He says, yes, I'll never forget it, he says. <laughs> he says, oh, Daddy Lynch's point went on, on top of me. <laughs> he says, <laughs> and lucky he said my point was on the counter. He said, who done that? He says, oh, who done it? I was about 16 when I told him. He jeez, I would have got you, he said, I killed you. <laughs> there was a, a funeral, and I was up in the ticky with banker. My granny and the other women were inside in the cab. So they went out to the glass and to the funeral. And banker 
turned and they said, I go to Dolly's, as Dolly Heavens. So he went up through the canal. At that time, you could go through the canal because the horse barges, pulling the horse barges, and come out. And he ended up in Dolly Heffern's. So I'm fed with um, lemonade and biscuits. And all the old ones, the granny, all the old ones are all uh, doing that drinking in the pub. Now, I was only a youngster. So, banker was drunk. And next thing all the old ones come out and they were put into the into the horse cab, and banker, and Mr. M I think it was Mr. McDermott, it doesn't make a matter, turned around and said, that's young boy, he's driving horses since he's, he was on the horse's legs with nappies on him. He, that old horse you knew, that was, all he had to do was say, go on, and that old thing trot away. But they were looking for me all over the district. Where is he? Where's poor Nola? Where, where's Nola? Where is he? And Nola come up King Street, and my granny lived in Barber Street, and two of the old ones lived in the tenements here in Corrine Street. Oh, he drives the horse round the corner, round the corner, and all the old ones in the horse cabs <laughs> singing, and he had boxes <laughs> singing. Well, it was laughing for a long and a many a day over that. Old banker, and he's sitting in there, sitting inside, 